Hi there, uh, in this video, I wanted to walk you through Beto templates. Uh, Beto templates are a great way to run any AI operation that you perform frequently on your code. Uh, you can access the Beto template from the template panel inside the Beto, or you can select a piece of code and uh, right click and execute one of the templates uh, from the library of templates. Uh, we have also supported uh, template execution through the keyboard shortcut. So you can use, for example, Shift Alt E to uh, run explain this code template uh, on the selected code. Uh, there are two main kind of templates uh, that comes out of the box. There are templates which will uh, create some textual descriptions. For example, the explain code or generate comment that will uh, create some you know, content for your code. And then there are templates which will take your code, do some operations, and then give back a rewritten code. So for example, performance check or security check, these templates will not only do the operation, but it will also give you uh, the fixed code uh, based on that operation. Uh, so for example, let me run the generate comment code. And uh, this will take the code that I have selected and it will uh, create the comment that you can then copy paste into your code. Um, so here it is, uh, and I can use, for example, copy function uh, to copy this code, this content, and paste onto my code editor. Uh, the second kind of template, for example, if I were to run uh, a performance check on this piece of code, so then I can uh, execute check and what we'll do is it will uh, run this code through the prompt and we'll do a variety of performance checks and eventually it will rewrite this code and uh, open this code into diff view so that you can check the suggested changes and uh, accept or reject based on uh, your preference. So let us finish this generation. Um, and you can see that, that it has created a diff view of this code um, to optimize the performance. So uh, this is a quick overview of template. Uh, and I will talk about you know, how you can create the custom prompt template in the next video.